Check this out, Sarita. Isn't this interesting? It's got men with spa glasses and stuff. Yeah, they look all detective-y. Detective-y? Is that even a word? Nope. <laughs> well, you're right, though. They do look detective-y, like they're searching for something. Yeah, and look at the boat on the water. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm lost at sea when I'm learning about all this health and nutrition stuff. <laughs> Me too. And look at the sail. What is that used for? Well, a sail propels the boat. But what does that have to do with nutrition? I guess the more nutrition knowledge you have, the better prepared you will be to propel yourself through life with healthy eating. Oh, that's good. And oh, you see the spyglass? I bet that means we should read our nutrition facts label and search for hidden ingredients and foods. You see a lot in this banner. Yeah. And look at the flashlight. We can read between the lines and find the truth behind misleading packaging claims. What are you doing? Well, I was looking for the words between the lines to read. I wonder Yay. what goes on in her head sometimes. Oh, look, a traffic light. That's strange. I wonder what that's about. Well, I mean, if we can have a car in a museum, why not a traffic light? <gasps> I bet there's a push me button. You're right. There it is. This light is kind of strange, though, don't you think? Yeah. The green is at the top. Now I'm really curious. Classifying what we eat into the five food groups can sometimes be confusing. Another way to understand healthy eating is to think about whether foods are go, slow, or whoa foods, like a stoplight. When deciding what foods to eat, use the go, green light, slow, yellow light, and whoa, red light method. Go foods have little to no added sugars or saturated fat and are low in calories. They are great to eat anytime. Some go foods are fat-free or low-fat milk and yogurt, water, fresh fruits and vegetables, scrambled eggs, and whole grain bread. Slow foods are higher in added sugars, saturated fat, and calories than go foods and should only be eaten sometimes. Examples of slow foods are 100% fruit juice, white rice, pasta, cheese pizza, pancakes, granola bars, and peanut butter. Whoa foods are highest in added sugars, saturated fat, and calories, and should only be eaten once in a while in small portions. Examples of whoa foods are soda, sports drinks, whole milk, pepperoni pizza, fried chicken, french fries, candy bars, ice cream, and pastries. Now let's play a game to test your understanding of go, slow, and whoa foods. Various foods will be displayed on the screen. Choose which category it is by pressing the green, yellow, or red button. That for sure has got to be a go food. I'm pushing the green button. Are you sure? No, but I'm gonna go for it. Your answer is incorrect. A beef taco made with lean ground beef and a hard taco shell is a slow food because of the amount of saturated fat it can have. Ha <laughs> ha! You were wrong. I'm going next. This has got to be a go food. Egg whites have lots of protein and not too much fat, and that looks like whole grain toast. You selected go for your answer. You are correct. Egg whites have very little fat, no added sugar, and lots of protein. Whole wheat bread contains dietary fiber to keep you fuller longer. Smarty pants. I'm going to try this again. Go ahead. It's so hard being the best. <laughs> 100% a whoa food. There is no way all of that regular pasta, cheese, and butter could be a go food. Not even a slow food. You guessed whoa. You are correct. Regular macaroni and cheese is filled with butter, cream, and fat. It would be considered a whoa food. 
Now you can investigate your foods closely to make healthier choices and figure out what foods you should eat more of and what you should limit. That was fun. We should totally play this game the next time in the lunch line. He said we should investigate our foods. I bet I'll be a great investigator. 